Hey, what's up guys? It's the last Party here and in today's video we've got yet another community replay. Thank you guys so much for sending in all of your replays. We really do appreciate it and we do look at all of them and consider the best contender. So for today's video we have uh, a replay by Kafaraka. I'm just gonna call uh, you Kafa or Cafe uh, for today's video just for simplicity reasons. Um, but he is in his North Carolina. And very quickly here, if you want to send a replay to us, send it to BIA World of Warships at gmail.com. That's BIA at BIA World of Warships at gmail.com. Uh, it's also in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. Um, yeah, and send your replay and the in game screenshots along with a couple sentence summary. And uh, yeah. That's uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. Or you can upload it to a, a, a site like World of Warships Replays uh, and at least give us a link so we can know which replay uh, is yours. So, Kafa, Kafe, Kafa. I don't know which one. I think Kafe. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying Kafa, but Kafe, Kafe. He is in his uh, new. Uh, North, North Carolina. Oh man, this replay is already going great. He's in his North Carolina, and they are on the map trap. So, he's waiting for some support at A, his destroyer buddy that uh, spawned in the Gaida, uh, just to his right, is a bit slow moving and kind of unsure of where he wants to go. So, he waited for the Belfast. Uh, to come along with him, and they look like they're going to A, along with maybe another battleship uh, a little bit behind Cafe. So, just to get some personal issues out of the way, I think the North Cal is actually a really good ship. Um, I actually rebought it uh, because I thought it was so good, and, well, Steven Seagal needed a ship to uh, dance around on. In any case, uh, the North Carolina is a great one, and I'm sure we'll see a great representation of it here. Because in the North Carolina, he, uh, you can do just about anything and everything. You're, ga you're a great AA boat. You've got great maneuverability, and you've got uh, very good uh, tankiness as well as firepower. Fires the first salvo out on the Ekatsuki. And oh man, 6.5k, that is certainly a beautiful sight. Of course, it is also nice to see that he's running premium consumables. I highly recommend that for everyone. Takes about 7k damage from the Amagi or Arizona, whichever one shot at him. But uh, he's got a lot of HP left. And the uh, Hiryu actually takes out that Ekatsuki. Shoots at the Hipper, that's showing decent broadside. Hopefully he will get rewarded. Uh, not almost 9k is not too bad. Uh, certainly, damage is damage is damage to a cruiser. You kind of see the uh, the tactics of the North Carolina. It's a great ship to just sit and go bow on. Um, and I've also installed uh, Aslan's mod. You can see that by the directional indicator on the uh, left side of the screen. I do this for the replays so you guys can kind of uh, learn from this and also my re when I when I showcase my replays uh, just to see you know what I'm doing wrong and what angle I'm at uh, helps improve my game for sure and uh, but it's certainly not necessary uh, it just it's just completely uh, supplemental at this point but either way um, our Gaida, our destroyer that pushed up, he pushed up really far. Not too sure the thinking behind that. But uh, it's okay because Kafe does 18k to the Yamagi because North Carolina problems. <laughs> Either way, uh, I think he might be pushing here. Arizona's bow on. Uh, he'd like to shoot him with the rear turret. I also like to see that uh, using. All of your turrets for two different targets is a nice thing to see. But he must uh, be turning back soon, otherwise he is going to be punished by the by that Arizona. Because even though it, I believe it has 14-inch guns, it still does uh, a lot of damage because penetrations 
uh, are still a major threat. But he's going to be pushing, angling against both the Arizona and the Amagi by dividing the, dif the difference between the two and slowly coming to a stop. So Amagi still is showing significant broadside. This should be the kill here. Secondaries are going at it. And there's the first kill, a nice 11k salvo. So, so far so good. 58,000 damage thus far. He's made the appropriate ships punish at the appropriate times. And I do like to see this. He's focusing the targets uh, that are of, hot, of utmost importance to kill. So, that, that Amagi's not too important. The carrier's taking care of him. He's rather out of position. So... Cafe decides to shoot at the Hipper. I like to see this. And that's a nice 13k salvo. It, the Hipper is sometimes difficult to Citadel. I certainly do have my troubles with it. Uh, that Turtleback armor does pose pretty big problems. He pops his heal. Trying to get one more shell off. One more round off. Some torpedoes hit him. Again from the carrier. Uh, but two bounces. The armor was too good. Shoots a little bit higher this time, but the Miyoko's torpedoes actually do take him out. So, I suspect that Kafe is going to go undetected here because the Ka North Carolina went in stealth, has exceptional uh, concealment. However, I, I didn't s look to see if he is running the concealment build. Or he might just plan to take out the Sipper. Either way. Either way is good. Hipper sets a fire. And uh, we'll see if he can delete this hipper outright. Nice cell, 7k, two penetrations. This should be the kill. Oh, a little high. That hipper turned in uh, just a little bit, which was able to throw Kafe's uh, shot off just a little bit. Interestingly enough, uh, I would have popped my spotter plane or my five minute float plane just for the heck of it. Um,. And I also would have uh, used my damage control party right now, but uh, he's deciding that he doesn't need to. He is just going to heal all that back up, which is very respectable in its own right. But he is showing a very good use of the float plane. You can't use it so liberally now. You do have to be careful and calculated when you use it. Uh, however, it, uh, it you can still use it somewhat liberally. Mexico shooting at him. Still not dead. Would have been hoping to see him shoot at the paper just to take him out. Um, but it looks like some, some of his teammates are actually trying to take care of that. 5k salvo. Almost 5k salvo on the Mexico. Not a bad one. He pops his heel. Cleveland is sitting still. However, it looks like he might be trying to throttle his... Uh, his throttle throttle his engines I guess um, and kind of confuse cafe but he's not having any of that if you guys have noticed cyclone is inbound and reduce uh, view range is enacted and so that's a that hippo that was shooting him and setting him on fire is no longer doing that uh, secondaries are going ballistic as usual, I'd like to see more hits here. I've always been a big uh, big ag advocate for slightly better secondaries. Again, they don't have to have the range. And, oh, that one hurt a lot. See, these 14-inch shells do hurt. Uh, but Cafe takes it like a boss and citadels the uh, New Mexico. But what was I talking about? I already forgot. Darn. That's a shame. Either way, uh, the Cyclone is saving him partially um, and also partially not because he is detected right now. You know, while it is a Fuso, uh, those 14-inch guns still do do some hurting. hurting. And uh, as long as he stays bow on, he should be relatively okay. You can see there are minimal, minimal damage taken. So, he's just slowly going forward, most likely even coming to a stop. No point in rushing this Fuso. Oh, secondaries. Yeah, I would like to see secondaries 
if anyone from Wargaming is listening, I would like to see secondaries on battleships buffed a little bit more. Like, this accuracy is just abysmal. These are the, these are the same guns that are on U.S. destroyers that can shoot out to 10, 11, 12 kilometers with accuracy. No, I don't expect uh, U.S. destroyer accuracy. Now, if... What I would like to see is, if you go a full secondary build, you would see the, you know, that U.S. destroyer-like, um, that U.S. destroyer-like gun accuracy on these secondary batteries, because they're, they're the same thing. They're the same guns. Um, so I would like to see that, um, but if you don't go for a full secondary build, you can obviously decrease the range and also uh, decrease the the range and the accuracy too but not like right now i think it is quite poor the secondary performance uh, i think these sh these guns should be much much better than they already are so cafe pops his fighter for the first time he is running premium f uh premium i say fighters and float planes whatever whatever they're called these days uh so he launches his first one and he's going to be pushing uh, and trying to kill the Sipro because Mexico was not able to. Unfortunately, though, there is a cruiser in F10 that's being chased by a battleship in G10. So this battle has already been uh, kind of weird. Enemy teams leading by a solid almost 300 or almost 400 points, and I'm sure Coffee will heal here. Didn't didn't really need the that uh, second gun. I would I would have liked to see him conserve that last that last uh, salvo, but th that's just a minor thing. Um, but I'm sure he's going to wait for this. Oh, Leander coming around the corner. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Se that second gun would have helped a lot more. But uh, certainly he can still kill him out right here, like I just said. Not a bad shot, a devastating strike. Let's see if he can't kill this Cleveland. And that's a double strike. Yeah, Kraken unleashed and high caliber. That was a lot of action and a lot of achievements for two salvos. <laughs> Look at that, Confederate, devastating strike, high caliber, dub double strike, and Kraken unleashed. Torpedoes are inbound, going after the carrier. But it looks like uh, Cafe has a fully spec AA uh, captain. Uh, I was talking about that concealment build earlier, but it does look like that he has uh, foregone that for complete and utter air dominance, which I don't blame him all that much for because uh, the North Carol has exceptional AA, especially when you plop on manual fire control as well. The AA is just ridiculous. You get uh, your mid range, your, you get your long range uh, dual purpose guns almost the same DPS as the uh, your mid-range, which is just absurd. 12,000 on that Cleveland. Um, and secondaries are still going. But you can see how big of an AA bubble he's got. 7.2 is no joke. And at this tier, against these T6 planes and T7 planes, uh, oh man, I'm so, so, I feel bad for the carrier. I know that feeling going after North Cal. But there's not much he can do. This Cleveland is dead. That once one shot just completely obliterated him. There's a, f I believe this was the Fuso. Yeah. See again, uh, that one. Oof. Wow. Got a bit lucky there. Didn't get any citadels. Would have liked to s on that last level possibly only shooting the first two guns and then leaving the third turret for the Fuso. That would have been most ideal. But again, a uh, bit of uh, minor griping, I guess you could say. So, seven kills. Oh my gosh. And I'm sure the carrier is lurking, lurking not too far uh, from this position. I'm sure he's around the area of E, E5, maybe, uh, oh, maybe, maybe a little bit higher. Never mind. Uh, looks like he stayed a little bit closer to his spawn than... I expected. If I was a carrier, I'd, enemy carrier, I'd be certainly moving with my group, moving with my team. So I would be closer to 
uh, the realm of maybe uh, probably F F3 maybe F2 um, yeah that's just because the majority of the team was over there so but it looks like he is actually way way up in the B B7 B8 area if I uh, if I'm not mistaken so Kafe was able in this game to bring his team back from near 400 point deficit and now they've got a hundred and almost a almost a hundred uh, 70 ish uh, surplus in terms of points uh, that's certainly awesome and congratulations to him on a great game he killed seven people you don't see that all too often seven people I certainly uh, I've gotten eight a couple times seven also a few times as well but uh, that comes few and far between, certainly. So, certainly a good game. It was a bit stagnant, but the ships were coming after him like no other. And with 3,752 hit points left, man, he's been through it all. I'm sure he'll get Dreadnought. Um, probably not Fireproof, because Fireproof is a little bit harder to get. But uh, certainly he does, uh, he's very close to it if he doesn't get it, I'm sure. So Cyclone is uh, giving up a bit, which is nice. Clouds are st starting to go away. You can kind of see the sun, yay. And maybe he'll get a solo base cap too if his teammates can't get on it. I believe it is 70, if you do 75% of the base capture, you still do get a solo cap. Uh, so if... You're in a division and someone says, oh, I got a solo cap, but your buddy was in that. Uh, I think that's the reason why I think it's about 75%. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's just a number I've seen thrown around very frequently. Uh, looks like the New, New Orleans is going to kill that Hiryu, unless a random secondary detonation. That would be quite funny. Like I said, solo cap, um, not too surprising there. Can he snipe this kill? Just outside of the range. The only thing that I could have said could have said here is the uh, I don't know what that one's called. Is that one that might one that one might actually be called the 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 air, the one that extends your gun range. The firing I don't know what to call it. Gosh darn it. Secondaries are actually taking a toll on this New Orleans. He's on fire. And the carrier actually does get a close quarters, but he dies from fire. So we're looking at the screenshot. And oh my lord, 500,000 uh, credits, 651 uh, XP, and 1312 free XP. 187,000 damage to finish it off. Four citadels, 14 planes shot down, seven kills, one captured, uh, solo captured base, one assisted, 40 secondary hits. Uh, pretty surprising for a U.S. battleship, I might, I might say. Double Strike, Dreadnought, Kraken. Oh, list goes on and on. Devastating Strike, High Caliber, and Confederate. Great, great game. Sorry about that there. Uh, and he is rank 5, if you didn't notice that. Uh, that rank 5 flag on him. You can see all of his achievements there. 2,911 base XP. And oh my gosh, that is absurd. His team did very well. You can see at the top, his team did uh, very well. Secondary battery, 5,000. Armor piercing is where it's at, though. 182,000 damage. Certainly a uh, very good display of, of targets that needed to be killed were killed at the appropriate times. Credits and XP with premium, 355,000 uh, credits earned. And I'm sure with some uh, flags... He could have bumped that up even a little bit more. Certainly a great replay, and I thank you for sending it in, Cafe Raka. Hope you got. I hope I got your name right. But I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I'll see you in the next one.